Generation Master P. Day has a Political parties have life. They severally experience the challenges of growth like other organic entities, each in its uniqueness. Since the birth of the All Progressives Grand Alliance ABGA in 2002 and its subsequent ascent as the ruling party in Anambra State in 2006, the party has remained sure-footed in its course of redefining governance as a functional means of growing society. Abga has continued to improve the lives of Ndianambra. The All Progressives Grand Alliance Abga has proved its mettle as the fulcrum of developmental politics and governance in Nigeria. Its commitment to good governance is consistent with the dreams of the founding patrons who wished a regeneration of our society through the instrumentality of purposeful leadership and governance. Today, the governor of Anambra State, Chief Willie Obiano, at Bukwedike, continues to fly Abga's flag of good governance as he labors to evolve a civilized polity. He provides adequate security and is steadily improving the state's infrastructural outlay. These, in addition to other favorable policies of his administration, have ensured the influx of private investors and the consequent growth of the state's economy. Chief Obiano has continued to improve Anambra's education, health and agriculture sectors. More importantly, he has groomed a vibrant and highly motivated workforce in the civil service. For these, Ndenambra are enamored with their governor and the All Progressives Grand Alliance. Chief Willie Obiano has not only delivered as the governor of Anambra State, as the chairman of ABGA Board of Trustees, he has ensured that the party finds strong roots across the geopolitical zones of Nigeria. As the third of the most notable parties in Nigeria, ABGA now sponsors candidates who are competing favorably with those from the other two bigger parties across the country. Characteristic of a dynamic leader that Chief Obiano is, he waded in to stem the tides of discontent that threaten the party. The governor's personal interaction with most of the disgruntled persons also provided ilksa that set the party afoot again. The people's expression of love for Governor Willie Obiano and Abga knew no bounds when the governor undertook a thank you tour of the 21 local government councils of Anambra State, where his electoral prowess subdued other candidates in the November 2017 gubernatorial election. Oh, <laughs> 
The euphoria of victory came anew and enveloped Anambra State as the tour progressed from one council to the other. It was Abga all the way as prominent sons and daughters of Anambra accompanied the governor to visit yet greater number of prominent in the Anambra who trooped out in their localities to celebrate a governor who was giving them utmost peace in safety. <laughs> So I am here to thank you, all of you, uh, and people of Idebili North, for the great support you gave me uh, during my election and for the 21 over 21 victory. You, you were a major part of that victory. And I'm here again to ask you to support all our candidates from uh, top to bottom, everywhere, up the, all the way. The die is cast again. Abga has possessed Anambra State since 2006. How many years now? 12 years going to attain without break. Nobody can challenge Abga in Anambra State in any contest. I'm saying this because I've been involved since the beginning till date. From the time Abga took over government in Anambra State, I've been involved till date. No party can challenge Abga in an electoral contest here. It's not possible because the party has done everything for the people of Anambra State. We've been able to give Anambra State what is called uh, quality governance, good governance. Any way you take it, Abga government has done well. The highest of it is the elusive security of lives and properties. Akoko restored it. Anambra State is nice. Here. We are making progress steadily in all sectors under Abga government. We are not failing in any sector. If it is workers, welfare. Hope your North government has called A over 95 percent. Everything you take and use it as a measure, we have surpassed the expectations of even our opponents. So therefore, in an election, I do not see how anybody can come and challenge that guy in Anambra State.
Cayetano. Has the best network of roads. 
We are not talking about the state capital. If you go to other states, you see some roads in the state capital. But this is a state where roads are built in every corner of the state, across the local governments, across the towns, and so on and so forth. So, Your Excellency, we salute you. Apo, 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 apo,
Today, Afghan consciousness has become more evident in the congregation of support for the current humane leadership of Afghan, founded in the unassailable humility of Governor Willie Obiano. This invariably earned the governor the unprecedented overwhelming victory of 21 over 21 in the gubernatorial election that earned him a second term. No doubt, the just concluded thank you tour inoculated Abga candidates in the state against electionary traumata and initiated them into the conquest mode of the party as they confront the forthcoming general elections. This Obiano effect will surely rest the spirit of the eternal leader of Abga, Dim Chukwemeka Odemigo Juku Ikemba, who made far reaching sacrifices to ensure the entrenchment of Abga ideals among the apologists. Though Ikemba lived to see the Abga dream assume flesh when, against all odds, Abga took the reins of power in Anambra State, the party's sustained growth from strength to strength beyond the southeast geopolitical zone will definitely be more suiting to his spirit. Oh, no, no. 